CCTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thanks for being here. It began as a rescue effort this morning on the beach in White Rock. Buckets in hand, hundreds of people rushed to the water's edge, hoping to save a young humpback whale. It was out of the water, starving, and was tangled in fishing gear. But there was nothing anyone could do, and within a matter of hours, the young whale was dead. CTV's Louise Hartland has the story. Emaciated and in distress, a juvenile humpback whale lies motionless on White Rock Beach, surrounded by helpless onlookers. This poor whale is sitting out front and uh, saw it and there was something wrapped around it. Couldn't see it at first. It was entangled in this mess of fishing line until someone cut it off. Came down and thought I could help and bring my pail and the little guy died. It's very sad. But the damage was done, and the rescue mission quickly turned into a funeral. This veterinarian from the Vancouver Aquarium says the last few weeks of the juvenile's life would have been a struggle. Um, it's an incredibly poor body condition, so it's extremely skinny. Um, you can just see the size of the animal just kind of sinking in. Um, so that's a, that's a whale in very, very poor body condition. The deep scars covering its body, a sign it could have been caught up in the fishing line for weeks. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans has a marine mammal response program on the West Coast to well, deal with these instances. The it says there. it sees two or three live entanglements each year. Well, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we disentangled a humpback whale up in Night Inlet that had 50 prawn traps on it. So this does occur and, and humpbacks are coming back into inshore water. So it's not an unusual that we're getting these interactions with uh, gear. In. The DFO says humpbacks are more susceptible to entanglement because of where they forage for food. Likely one of the reasons this whale got tied up. Something like that will last for a thousand years. It's just ridiculously... The fishing industry, wherever it is, has got to come up with some more biogradable stuff, strong, but maybe biogradable or something, you know. The dead whale was a sad sight for the hundreds of people down at the beach, but it also served as a valuable lesson. We visit the beach all the time, and I sort of just encourage my kids to clean up garbage and that type of thing, so I just explain to them that garbage and fishing nets and the environment and our oceans, and this is sort of what happens in hopes of teaching a younger generation and saving another. Louise Hartland, CTV News. And here's an update. This is a look at the whale from just a short time ago from the air. The tide has now come in. Pathologists from the Provincial Animal Health Center in Abbotsford took samples of the whale on site today. Those samples of the carcass will be sent to the lab for necropsy in the hopes of figuring out what killed the humpback. It still isn't clear tonight how or when the carcass is going to be removed.